as you can see, I am making this. Basically, I decided to make a blanket for my dog. And I came across this really thick yarn at the store. As you can see, it's like incredibly soft. And when it's knitted together like this, it makes a very soft, cozy feel. So hopefully my dog likes it. I already went through two of these, just making this much, so we got more. When I started doing it at first, my knitting needles were too small. I couldn't actually knit because it was just so thick and it was falling off the needles. And so I decided to just use my fingers. And this is called finger knitting. You take the yarn, you put it through. Strangely enough, it's the same motion you do with crocheting, except with your fingers, but it's called finger knitting. You basically continue on like this, keeping it kind of loose. And I'm also switching colors. And it's very soft and very warm. And I don't actually know how big I want to make it. I intend on just continuing to knit until I can knit no more. I've always loved to knit and to do different like handcrafts. I learned it first in elementary school because I went to Waldorf school. There, one of the classes is handwork, and so from a very young age you get to work on stuff like this. It's a lot of fun. Surprisingly difficult, but once you get into the, the flow, it becomes very fast and you start seeing your progress. And so I like making little knitted animals. I think I've made maybe scarves, cozies. I've made teapot cozies, which was a lot of fun. How it works is you're basically going back and forth, making these loops, looping loops through loops. And then when you get to the end of a row, they're called rows, then you switch back in the opposite direction. This is very zen, very meditative, very calming, because you're constantly doing something, but it's not, it doesn't require high amount of energy. So I just did a whole row. So this is how big it is for now. My dog is small, but I want it to be big and also I kind of want to use it. So I'm gonna keep going. And right now, hang on, I need to get scissors. So I just needed to get scissors because I'm gonna switch colors now because I'm doing these stripes roughly every few rows. It's very straightforward. There's no magic about it. You cut, and then you get the other color, and you tie them together. And later you can cover up this knot by uh, weaving it into the whole thing. You flip it over. <laughs> you start going the opposite way. And lo and behold, you have a new color. It's actually surprisingly quick how much you can get done. I, I went through everything I had before I was working on it today was done in one sitting. So if ever you need something to do that is stress-free and fun and challenging. You should try this. You can make anything you want, really. You can make a new type of clothing or you can try making a blanket or just a square or a tapestry of life. Thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to share with you all one aspect of my life. I really enjoy knitting and doing handcrafty type things. So I hope you go and try something that is just as magical and just as relaxing.
Thank you. Bye.